Good afternoon, Abbotsford. I'm David Pelican. I'm running for your mayor of Abbotsford. Now, since I put my name forward, the Abbotsford News wouldn't run me. I was not allowed to bait at the Chamber of Commerce. Greg Toes pulled me out. And then at UFV, Andy Sadu had me removed with the help of his son, Dave Sadu, who's running for city council. We're here at the Caprizza newspaper. And why we're here is, as mayor running candidate, I wanted to put my advertising in the newspaper. Dave Sadu refused to do it. He's running for city council. Marcus Dalvis is his CPA and he's his financial sponsor and he's Ross Siemens. So Dave Sadu and Ross Siemens are like going uptown, Dave Sadu's chauffeuring him. He's everywhere. So how is this not a form of nepotism, known as racketeering? As a candidate, I cannot reach out to any of the Indo community culture because I've been blocked. They can't read my platform, they can't see nothing. Dave Sadu purposely did this. This is what Darren Brown told me when it was about Mogel. Dave Sadu and the Abbotsford News were used to pull Mogel down, Mogel down for Henry Brown. Tomorrow at the Vance voting polls, that my name will not be in the voting polls for voters to see at the Indo community because of Dave Sadu has ran only his friend, Ross Siemens, to get Ross Siemens in. Do you not do think that Dave Sadu deserves to be disqualified, charged, and not only that, brought to the election accountability here in Abbotsford? The municipal election, what they have been doing, tampering it, to get Ross Siemens in and blocking other candidates. Dave Sadu knowingly and willingly went along with this plan and refused me. He owns a newspaper, him and his dad do, and he's a city councillor and he's trying to get his buddy on at all times, Ross Siemens. So I want to reach this out to David Eby, who is the Premier with John Horgan, and to the Attorney General. You tell me how this is fair. This is how the BC Liberals have held Abbotsford with Mike Dion. Mike Dion's riding association is Marcus Dalvis, the same guys that are running Dave Sadu and Ross Siemens to get him in. And Marion Keyes is now on Abbotsford first. So it's a complete bogwash of this election. And it's all done by Henry Braun. But I want to tell you this, as smart as Dave Sadu was with Ross Siemens, Darren Brown said, I ain't going to jail for my dad and his rich friends and his politician friends. The man that should be standing here beside me is Ed Fast, saying this election was unfair. It is not supposed to take place. There is a democratic process that we're entitled to and every candidate, and that didn't get through. So you tell me, Henry Brown, how much money do you stand to lose if Ross Siemens doesn't get in with your partners diverse, with all the jobs you lobby? How much? That's why Henry asked the Abbotsford police to intimidate me. That's why he, uh, they came up to threat. But this, Dave Sadu, you should be humiliated right out of Abbotsford with Ross Siemens for what you did. This ain't even about running an election. This is about the greediness of Ross Siemens and Dave Sadu to do at anything they can to get on that city chair. This is unfair and it's totally unfair. And I say Dave Sadu had enough warnings of doing what he did, and he did at university, pulling me out of the debate. So I'm live out of Abbotsford, BC.